I'd like to begin this morning with a little share from something Father Brian Massingale recently wrote for America Magazine. Father Martin Gale, Massingale is a uh, Catholic priest who teaches philosophy, uh, theology at Fordham. And he says this, the only reason for the persistence of racism is white people continue to benefit from it. The only reason for racism's persistence is white people continue to benefit from it. Father Massingale suggests we use this as a mantra. Notice what arises in your body. Notice any reactions. Good morning, my name is Father Frank Buckley and I'm the host of our morning meditation. Flourishing during challenging times. Today is going to be a great day. I'm delighted you're here. This program has three parts. A little inspiration to begin. The heart of it all is a 20 minute silent meditation. And then at the very end, a uh, mini Jesuit examine. This morning, I've decided, I've opted for our inspiration to begin with this question of understanding, of going deeper into Black Lives Matter. I'm delighted to do this with you. And no one does this alone. On Fridays, I like to try and touch on the importance, the benefit, the beauty of community. Together we are in the safe space to meditate together, to pray together, to build community. Dorothy Day once said, love is a harsh and dreadful thing. But later she writes, community and love are the answer. So in thinking about community, in thinking about Black Lives Matter, I chose to continue from yesterday with something from Dr. Amen. And he writes very beautifully that the secret sauce of life is community, is friends. So I'd like to share that with you now. The gift of loving community. Improving your health is possible, but doing so requires intention and effort in our daily choices. When we choose to spend time with God, to exercise, to eat healthy food, and to focus our thoughts, we take steps toward our goals in every area of our life. Now this can be hard, especially if we're trying to make changes to existing habits, and even tougher if we try to go it alone. Let me read that again. This can be hard, especially if we're trying to make changes to existing habits, and even tougher if we are trying to go it alone. But the really good news is God does not want us to do this alone. God made you to thrive when you are connected to others. Being engaged in community will certainly improve your health and not just physically. Friends can improve your emotional and spiritual health. The opposite is also true. Isolation injures us. Again, let me repeat. Isolation injures us. Our lack of community 
can keep us from being the healthiest we can be. In other words, friends are the secret sauce for everything else. Thank you, Dr. Amen. Thank you, our contemplative community from all over the world for joining us together. Today, we do not do this alone. We come together in a morning practice to give the first hour of the day to God. And then surrender, let go, release, renew, restore. So one of the best things for our whole being, body, mind, spirit, soul is meditation. Let's get started. First of all, one of the ways we flourish is to unplug. That is one of my mantras. So let's turn off all technology. I've got the timer set for 20 minutes. I'll ring the bell to get us started. And then I'll ring the bell at the end of 20 minutes and do a little guided meditation to get going. So find a comfortable place wherever you are. If you're in the tent, on the streets, in a room key, hotel, wherever you may find yourself in this moment, just find somewhere comfortable where you can meditate, in a way that is calm, in a way that is relaxing, and most importantly, effortless. We just sit down, we turn our gaze inwards, take the attention to the breath, and engage a sacred word. Without further ado, let's begin. Listen, listen, the sound of this beautiful bell returns us to our true home. As always, let's begin with diaphragmatic breathing, that is breathing deeply as possible into the lower belly three times. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's begin. I invite you to either close your eyes or three quarters close, something that feels safe and right to you. Deeply inhale, open mouth, exhale. Beautiful, everyone. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Last time, give it all you got. Inhale and exhale, bringing fresh oxygen to the brain and the body. Continue to breathe on your own. Gently as a feather, take the attention to the breath. Feel the feet pressed on to the green earth, our mother. And just notice in this moment, the solidity of the earth beneath you and take it in. Take the attention to the cushion or chair providing support. We all need support in our lives. Reflect on a way you felt supported recently. Just notice what you feel. Relax the shoulders. Take the attention to the heart, the place the spiritual world touches the physical world. And just come up with something in your life that brings you a little joy. Name it in one word and place it towards the back of your heart. 
and together on this beautiful Friday morning as a contemplative community throughout the world, together. Let's breathe into that joy one time. Inhale. Exhale. Take the attention to the breath. Engage your sacred word four or five times. Drop down and enjoy a little deep rest. Please continue.
We only have about a minute left and what the heck it's Friday. Let's try to put a little gentle smile on our face. It only takes seven muscles to smile, but 47 to frown. And just notice if anything shifts. And we know it smiles authentic when we smile with our eyes as well. So let's give it a try. Please continue. Gently bring your attention back to the room. Wonderful job, everyone. If your eyes were closed, go ahead, open the eyes, circle the wrists one way, then the other. Relax the shoulders. And let's move into the third part of the program for Friday, which is our Ignatian Examine. And just looking, Ignatius and Curtis, start with a little place of gratitude. Come up with something you're grateful for this morning. And then notice over the recent past, it's Friday, let's look over the week. Where did God uh, show up in a beautiful way? And as I was reflecting on this, um, a few of the places I noticed God come alive in my life was in my own morning prayer this morning. Um, Jesus told me in a most personal and intimate way uh, through a song. Uh, when we did the Jesuit alumni mass, they played the old gospel song, uh, Keep Your Hand on the Plow. And as I heard the song, uh, Jesus told me in a very clear voice, I'm going to take you to places that even you couldn't dream of. And most of you know I have a pretty good imagination. So it was a it was a good morning prayer. Um, second uh, place I really came alive was just recently. Again, you know, tomorrow is the food pantry from nine till noon uh, at uh, Blessed Sacrament Parish. And the volunteers are out there uh, really busy at work doing, making food and getting things ready to provide beautiful uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, fresh fruits, vegetables. If any of you feel so inclined, uh, we've been also going to throw little gift cards, subway cards, Amazon, anything at all in the bags. Uh, if you'd like to send a uh, little gift card to Blessed Sacrament Church Hollywood, send it in the mail, care of me, and I'll make sure it gets to the food pantry. And then last uh, but not least, um, how grateful is my heart for this community? A little amends yesterday. I gave a shout out to where people are tuning in from. I did forget Santa Fe. I forgot New York City. Go Remy. Thanks for reminding me and uh, the Bay Area. So if you're from somewhere I haven't mentioned it, throw it on there. If you want to mention someplace you've come alive uh, where Jesus has been moving, throw it in there on the Facebook. We'll look at the comments. Um, this is an absolutely amazing community. I guess it would take a global community to get me on the mat 20 minutes to start my day, but it is definitely having a rippling effect in my life through your Facebook comments, through your emails, through your conversations with me. I know it is having a rippling effect in your life as well. Today is Friday. Let's enter into the weekend with this Ignatian idea that resonates in every pore of our body as we notice the way God comes alive. God simply cannot be outdone in generosity. Have a great weekend and we'll see you back here on Monday. God bless you.